Welcome to Good News Week and the big news, USA, 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 USA! <laughs> USA! Unless you've been in a cave. <laughs> it's a little bit insensitive. Uh, US Special Forces in Pakistan have finally killed Osama bin Laden. It may have taken 10 years, cost trillions of dollars and decimated three countries, but the world's greatest superpower has finally managed to shoot an old bloke in the head. <laughs> yes, they got him, right in the mastermind. <laughs> bin Laden is dead. At last the world is safe from his silent reign of cowering, diabetic, cave-ridden evil. <laughs> US intelligence has known about his location for months, but didn't want to do anything about it until after the royal wedding. <laughs> The element of surprise was crucial. Navy SEALs were able to enter the highly secure compound by posing as Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> they swooped so fast, Bin Laden barely had time to strap on one of his bulletproof wives. <laughs> the raid was a great success. Not only did the US terminate Osama, they also found Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> The US President, Vice President and Secretary of State watched it unfold from the White House, then had a sleepover and stayed up all night telling ghost stories. <laughs> it's the perfect technique to crush Al-Qaeda. After all, once a figurehead is dead, they can never influence the lives of anyone ever again. Like that fella that, uh, that the Romans killed years ago. What was his name? Jesus or something. <laughs> And while all that is very exciting, it's got nothing on the federal budget! Yeah! yeah! Oh, we love it. Tomorrow night, Treasurer Wayne Swan will announce what's being called a horror budget. <laughs> a horror budget is what you get when you elect a Frankenstein government stitched together from the corpses of all the other parties. <laughs> The budget comes as the government is on the nose with voters and trailing badly in the polls, although Gillard is still preferred to Abbott. Then again, so was Bin Laden. <laughs> the big question has reportedly been whether to cause a lot of people a bit of pain or a few people a lot of pain. So the government has compromised by causing a lot of people a lot of pain. <laughs> To get us back into surplus, they have to find $51 billion in cuts. The good news is they're already saving money on looking for Osama. <laughs> Labour is planning savage cuts to vital services, but that's okay, they're not vital. Oh, hang on, yes they are. Oh, my mistake. We're facing a hike in the price of medicines, the main one being alcohol, which many of us will need. <laughs> The main medicine being alcohol, which many of us will need to deaden the pain of the budget. <laughs> I just don't think they're trying hard enough. For example, in defence, they could save a fortune by scrapping the Navy. Abbott reckons he can stop the boats. Let him prove it. <laughs> Legalise gay marriage and tax weddings. <laughs> the government instantly doubles its income stream, which they won't have to waste on the baby bonus. <laughs> Wayne Swan says the budget will be tough for average Australians, but on the bright side he reckons it'll still be marginally better than getting your left eye shot out and dumped at sea. <laughs> and that's the good news. Thank you, good evening, tonight with a spring in our step and revenge in our hearts, the evil genius Mikey Robbins! <laughs> Coming to the beautiful Doylson RSL on the Central Coast this Wednesday, then heading all over New South Wales, the live and dangerous Lady Julia Morin. <laughs> and he's just finished being very funny at the Melbourne and Sydney Comedy Festivals, the rising star of UK stand-up, Sean Walsh. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And they're closing in on the heavenly reward, Claire Hooper. <laughs> He's written a few cookbooks, he runs a couple of very nice restaurants, and he's pretty handy in the kitchen from MasterChef, the tasty Matt Moran. 
And just back from winning another most popular show gong at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival, now heading to cheer them up in New Zealand, the special force, Will Anderson. Oh. The second, second year with the most popular gong? Yeah, that was, that was uh, really nice. So yeah. I really appreciated that. Are you enjoying your time on MasterChef no, this time around? I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely loving it. But uh, I'm a little bit concerned because I've just learnt that uh, Will here is a, is a vegan. Or a vegetarian, is that true? Well, yeah, that's all right, but yeah. don't judge me, man. No, I'm not judging you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually dated a, a vegetarian once. once. Is, that, is, that a, once. is that a... Once. Oh. Just once. Yes. That was the end of it. Right, <laughs> she, she, didn't enjoy, she didn't enjoy your meat? No, it was... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she would have preferred a, a substitute. <laughs> <laughs> He just thought it was weird that you plated it up. <laughs> it still doesn't know what the parsley's for. <laughs> Matt, I've got, Claire, I've got I some know. bad news. Mm. I'm also a bit veggie inclined. You, oh, are you, you, are, you are currently the meat between oh. two veg. <laughs> That's true on so many levels, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I'm single and quite enjoy mystery box. <laughs> I'm going to get away from the genital obsessed people over there. How are you, Sean? Love to have you on the show. I'm good, thank you. It's, it's nice to be here. How was, uh, how was Sydney and Melbourne Comedy Festivals for you? It's, you? it's lovely. Australia's lovely. Uh, what I'm not used to is how relaxed it is. Like in, uh, in London, people rush. In England, we rush. You have no idea how to rush. In England, there's thousands of people in front of you. You see a gap about this big. You go, fuck it, I'm getting through this gap. <laughs> Swerving round bins. I come to Australia, I see two blokes at a cafe. One sits down, they bump into each other. He sits down, they speak for about 20 minutes. Then one turns to the other and says, anyway, mate, I better be going. I'm in a rush. I'll see you later. I'm late for work. <laughs> Unbelievable. Remember that? But I like it. It's good. You like it? The audience was good. They loved you. They're very nice. They're very nice. Yeah. They, they clap and they cheer. They do all the right things. They, they, you eat a lot of pumpkin. And it's what's weird as well. <laughs> what? what? No, 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 people, no, no, no. Pumpkin sandwiches. What's going on? <laughs> pumpkin. All I know pumpkin for is to scare people. Just a pumpkin with a scary face. You people actually eat scary faces. <laughs> pumpkin face is so much more scary than a baby animal's face. <laughs> That's yeah. this. Nah. nah. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Lady Julia? Are you well? I'm in vintage form, Dale. I've had a very exciting week. I won the green card lottery. Oh. Hey. Come on! You're off to the States. Yeah. yeah. You won it? Yeah. For like a competition? Well, they have uh, certain nationalities can apply. It's not a nationality. It's like the British can't. My husband couldn't because there's just too many Brits in the USA. So you've left your husband. Oh, okay. God. I don't even remember what his name is, to be honest. And so he's a very nice chap. He's looking after the children at the moment. And that's, you know, that's why I had the best day yesterday, Mother's Day. Most beautiful present. Uh, my children are in another country. <laughs> and it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I'm phoning docs now. No. Tommy's on the road. I'm loving it. I'm doing my own sort of... Um, I'm, I know you went to Afghanistan and did like the full uh, tour, mm. but I'm doing the RSL tour. I'm seeing different sort of troops. Yeah. yeah. All, all the ones. Oh, yeah, pick. who can click beer glasses into their teeth and just neck it back like that. It's just a beautiful audience. I love it. <laughs> wow, I didn't know my family was going out of the house. No, they are. <laughs> I'm up in um, I'm up Belmont Way this week and in oh. um, and in Singleton and I'm all over it like a cheap suit. Oh, if you like Uzo, say hello to my auntie Pam. I'll be all over Pam. <laughs> <laughs> let's begin our show. Do you want to? Do it? Okay, let's do it. Uh, our first issue is what's the story? Team versus team. Best answer takes the points. Players, up, up and away. Oh, hi. Uh, that's uh, the original. That's Georgery. Yeah. Georgery. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. I love. He always had a loose suit, didn't he? Those special yeah. effects were shit. Was Mike Huckabee, the old one? And uh, Terry Hatcher before everything uh, went south. Well, before she lifted up all the face into like a pigtail of skin at the back of her head. <laughs> and comic. Anybody? Anybody? Superman, he was actually shot in the head. And, uh, that was I, Bin Laden. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no he, he, he died. He died. They thought it was suicide, but, um, or, but it was never answered. So they, they don't know whether he was actually someone that shot him or whether he actually did it himself. This is oh, the original right. Superman. The original yeah, Superman. The Which, yeah. bizarre enough, uh, Ben Affleck made a movie out of that story. Not that 
there's nothing funny about this, apart from the fact that here's the Ben Affleck made a good movie. That's the funny bit, that he's still working. <laughs> but this is, this is about... Hollywood oh, Land, is that the uh, name of the Yeah, Hollywood Land, Hollywood. great film. Oh! Yeah, yes, no, you've never seen it. Anyway, um... <laughs> there's this story that came out during the week, the latest Superman comic. Apparently Superman is, doesn't want to be an American anymore. No, and that's why I got the green cards. One out, one in. Superman's <laughs> out. <laughs> Mommy's in. Yeah. What a trade. Actually, I would love to know your special powers. Leaps cocktails in a single bound. No, babe. <laughs> Lift and separate anything you can. <laughs> I, I love they said um, that Superman had renounced his American citizenship yeah. because, you know, he, he didn't want his actions to be judged through the prism of American politics. But I know it's actually because he got some tax advice from Paul Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's a citizen of the Bahamas. Ah, and, and, of course, uh, Mike Huckabee and, and Fox News and and all the, the rabid right-wing um, commentators in the States, which is basically everyone. But, um, but in a week where Bin Laden was, you know, and the royal wedding was, and it all was, is that uh, the media I'm, commentators... I'm, I'm, I'm were, so glad you read a paper before doing the show. Uh, you know I'm nice, but not very bright. But they... <laughs> The, the most extraordinary thing is that it was world news, that something that happened in a comic strip became world news. That it wasn't political or it wasn't talking about someone's God or whatever, it's just someone denouncing their uh, USA citizenship. Yeah, well Huckabee went... was really upset about it because he said it was another example of Americans being ashamed of being mm. American, which is actually bullshit because Mike Huckabee can't claim Superman. Because under Mike Huckabee's policies, if Superman came to Earth, he would be an illegal yeah. alien, yeah. he would send him back out of the country. Huckabee be like, I don't like this bloody Superman coming here taking jobs from American superheroes. <laughs> they should be Captain America solving those bloody crimes there, mate. Uh, they, they, they come over here from Krypton, impregnate our women. <laughs> <laughs> He wouldn't want to get someone pregnant because, um, you know, he doesn't believe you've got to be married to have kids. Remember Natalie Portman he got, had, had a go at the other day. For, for not being married? For not being married and being pregnant, yeah. Oh, uh, well, no, you wouldn't have any sort of sexual relations before marriage, would you? <laughs> Jeez, I tell you, not with Superman. No. <laughs> Unless you've got some kryptonite in the room to slow him back. Anyway, well, no, we're, going, we're going into very... When, you, bad do, when you do have sex with Superman, it is faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> <laughs> That's any man. Oh, thank OK, you. thank you very much. They both have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Consider it a blessing. <laughs> There's outrage in America after Superman announced plans to renounce his citizenship because he's tired of being thought of as nothing but a tool of the US government. American citizens across the country have slammed Superman's behaviour, but he's yet to respond because he's not real! <laughs> Uh, does the Man of Steel even have US citizenship? He basically entered the country like a Mexican on a meteorite. <laughs> That's a small motorbike, isn't it? <laughs> Superman realised he had to rethink his slogan of truth, justice and the American way when it turned out the American way was incompatible with truth and justice. <laughs> the good news is DC Comics says Superman is still as American as apple pie and will be until the day Navy SEALs assassinate him. <laughs> <laughs> so after one speeding bullet round, a good news week. The Robins team are on ten points, the Hooper team are on eight points. Coming up, crime and punishment. It's good news.